Okay, this is going to be a short video on my tools and how I make them, how I put them together. Let me start with the uh, indirect percussion flakers. I just made this one today. Uh, this is plastic, uh, three quarter inch rod, and it's a special type of plastic. It's called uh, UHMW plastic. If you want to order some online, it goes by rod UHMW PE white. It comes in different sizes, and you can get it from Granger or Amazon. Uh, I just checked Amazon today and they looks like they sold out of the three quarter inch. Um, but they might have it in different lengths. I just looked uh, at one reference that had 12 inches in length. And all I do is I drill a hole in the end and insert a piece of copper wire. Uh, this is grounding wire or ground wire for electrical panels. Uh, this particular piece is um, uh, 5 32nd in diameter, 5 32nds of an inch in diameter, but I also get 1 8 of an inch in diameter. Uh, that They don't sell it in that dimension. Uh, there's a different classification for wiring and I, uh, I don't have that handy. I just gave you the measurements because you'll need to drill holes into the uh, plastic in those sizes. Uh, eighth inch and five thirty seconds. The eighth inch looks like um, like this here. That's eighth of an inch. And I don't twist the wire or anything to harden it or pound it. I just drill a hole, insert it. Uh, the drill bit that I have is a little bit large. It's eleven sixty fourths, which is a little bit large. So you can see I put a little piece of uh, leather in there as I'm pounding it in uh, to keep it tight. That's all I do. Uh, they, the holes do wear out, uh, and also I, when I first drilled this one, I drilled it off center, so it was cracking on the side here uh, from so much stress. But yeah, it, it does wear out, and uh, I've had to chop the ends off and then re-drill the hole. Uh, like I said, this is three-quarter inch. Uh, this large piece here, which is the same diameter as the mallets, I think, no. The mallets are inch and a half, inch and a half diameter. If I can write this, inch and a half. And uh, this pressure flaker, this actually doubles as both a pressure flaker and an indirect percussion tool. This is inch and a quarter in diameter. I also buy half inch diameter and uh, this is a pressure flaking tool. I hardly ever use it but I do have it in my tool kit. It does come in handy for very small points to uh, dress up the edge. Now in addition to copper I have steel and I've shown these before in a different video. These are just Walmart ice picks and um, when you buy them they're pretty long and what I do is tip off and I'll insert that piece of the tip into one of these plastic rods for a notcher when I do notching and uh, I just file this down to like a chisel type point and they're all filed to a chisel like tip and uh, they double as notchers or pressure flakers The ones that are more squared off are strictly for notching, but I do have this one that's kind of rounded off that I also use for pressure flaking to do the final final edge work on the tips of my points and on the edges and also for sharpening. And this one's just about worn out, but I filed it down to use it as a notcher in case I need a lot of pressure in the beginning to make the notch. I've got that handy. I've just started using this one and uh, it works pretty good. But normally I just use these two. It only requires light pressure to do the dressing on the edge of the tools to sharpen them anyway. So 
and uh, just have a regular file. I do uh, dress up the tips on these when they get uh, too flattened out or the uh, copper starts to uh, mushroom. I'll just file back that mushroom shape. is rounded and uh, when I'm working raw stone I tend to get this uh, flatness on the tips of these and that you know after it gets really flat I like to just round it off again I find that with copper when it's rounded it grabs the edge a little bit better uh, I've not I've not had any luck with flat copper pressure flakers or indirect percussion flakers Antler is different. I have used flat tipped antlers. Okay, and then the other thing is I just have this to uh, clip the wire. And, uh, that middle part right there is where I grab the wire and pull it out. These are in there pretty good. Uh, I forgot to mention this is a quarter inch copper rod. So it's three sizes, one eighth of an inch. 5 30 seconds and quarter inch and the diameter on this particular flaker is uh, one inch even so I basically have four different sizes of rods that I order three quarter one inch one and a quarter and one and a half and the length on these, they start out for the indirect percussion flakers at one foot. And the mallets are six inches. Same material. They just they get dirty. Okay. And um, my abraders. These are man-made. These, these are from uh, grinding wheels. Broken grinding wheels. And I also have an abrader made of uh, granite. Pink granite in this case. And I find granite works pretty good. Uh, it's, it's all, it always stays rough no matter how, you, uh, how much you abrade it. It does get worn down and smooth but it still remains rough enough to do a, a good job of abrading. And of course I can abrade using this notch in here too. Uh, I won't go over hammer stones in this video. I'll go over those kind of things in an, in another video with uh, ABO tools. So uh, I guess that's it. All right.